Now, do you wonder what children get up to at school these days, how they behave, how their teachers react to them? Well, the television series Educating Essex has been showing us exactly that. Cameras have been put in corridors, classrooms, the canteen, even the headmaster's office. And more than two and a half million people have been tuning in to watch the documentary following students and the staff at the Passmore School in Harlow. But does what was filmed really reflect life in the average secondary school in England? We went to visit teachers at Woodcote High School and Sports College in Croydon to find out what they think of the programme. No need for you to wear your coat, take it off. Your school days. The way they dealt with things may not always be the same as the way I deal with it, but you have to appreciate how they've dealt with it and why they've dealt with it, and the outcomes always are to the benefit of everyone. Diameter is circumference divided by pi. What is pi? Where did it come from? When I've been watching it, I've certainly felt that throughout my teaching career I've had um, situations like that, but um, every school's different. All right, clear off, scumbags. At this school in Essex, 160 students are in their final and most important year. I think Teaching has changed quite a lot over the years that I've been teaching and I think more so than ever there is an element of almost kind of social work involved in that sometimes you do have to almost mother them along. Sir, mm. I feel like crying for no reason. Is that normal? Um, what, your age? Yeah. They're teenagers. Oh my God! Emotional <laughs> and a constant challenge. You will never ever come up against people who are as calm and patient as we are for the rest of your life. How true is that? Mr Drew and mm. Mr Goddard are with us now. Head teacher Vic Goddard and Deputy Head Steve Drew, good morning. Hello. Good morning. I have to say, I <laughs> watched it and thought, you have the patience of saints, don't you? How do you not get incandescent <laughs> with rage with those children sometimes? I think actually it's a very simple thing. When young people come to you at the start of Year 7, they're with you for five years. I do not think there's anything to be gained from spending your whole time shouting, arguing and ranting at them for five years. Because what if that young person has a major problem at some point when they reach Year 9, Year 10? They need you. They need you to be on their side. If they've lost faith in you, if they've lost trust in you, then actually that's no good whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So to be honest with you, patience is what you need. But Mr Drew, some... I find you t referring to you. Mr Drew, hello Mr Drew. I think that's quite right. Yeah. I think you can um, stay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Put my hand up first. Uh, I think the, the thing about watching it is, is you see these children who need enormous amounts of time mm. and investment and love a lot of the time as it well. Is. And when you're dealing with a class of 30 children and then many other classes, how do you give children the individual attention they need in order to give them the future that you want to? I, I think if, if you had a stopwatch on the amount of footage it was in a classroom for the whole series, you'd find it's probably less than 5% of what's shown. 12,000 hours shot, less than 6 hours of TV made from that. And the reason why Stephen is, is such, a, such a big part of the show is because Stephen deals with those young people once they've been removed from lessons, you know, in the most difficult and often most trying times. So from that point of view, you know, the children who are in lessons are learning with good teachers doing good jobs the ones that are struggling with that are taken out right. and they're given to the wonderful Mr Drew. Yes, he's exactly. the enforcer. He is. He's everyone he's everyone he's needs a Rottweiler. The, the face belies the nature of the man beneath Indeed. you. I mean, you look like a pretty scary guy, to be honest. <laughs> the boys, Mr Goddard, cries. <laughs> I cry all the time, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, hauling some of the boys in after a raid on yeah. the hard drive of the school computer. Here we go. Here we go. Form a line behind these people. If you speak to me before I speak to you, I am going to internally exclude you. And you are all going to wait while I do exactly the same conversation with every single one of you, OK? Everyone in? Right. Daniel Whitbread, 11 games. Would you like to explain those? No, sir. You will have limited internet access until January for the fact that you have tried to get around your teacher's ability to educate you. Off you go, please. OK. Josh Jones. 46. Would you like to explain that to me? No, I thought not. Thank you very much. Ryan Howe, would you like to explain to me which one of your teachers told you to download the torture game? None. Thank you very much. Connor Goldhawk, in your personal area, there are 56. Well done. You win the prize. Which of your teachers told you to download 56 games? No, sir. Good answer. I think we're learning a little lesson this morning. Sometimes we just need to take the heat. That would be... 
fizzy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love that. That's my favourite word. <laughs> it's funny watching yourself back, isn't it? Um, there's a, a loads of emails and text messages have come in. Lots of people very appreciative of the programme and, and, and the way you teach as well. And a lecturer at Hull College says, we have posters of Mr Drew up with the words, what would Mr Drew do? <laughs> it's a realistic programme of secondary education and fantastic. And thank goodness for the staff of Passmore's, says somebody else, you inspire me. In fact, that comes from another burnt out teacher. You've been in the business 20, yeah, 20 years, years yeah. now. Uh, was there ever a time when you thought, e enough of this, you know, you get battered every day, effectively? If I won the lottery, I couldn't give up my job. I absolutely really? love my job. It's, it's a, you know, I have a family, which is obviously my, my priority. But beyond that, I have a big family. I have 938 children. You know, I have a, a family of brothers and sisters mm. at work. And it's, it's a really, really, it's just, I just love what I do. It makes my blood pump. So why would you give that up? Mm. No, I mean, there was some criticism certainly early on of, of the sort of very liberal approach that yeah. some teachers have, particularly uh, the English teacher. Mr King, who's actually, 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 actually assistant principal of yeah. the school. Saying, so. saying off scumbags. he goes, come back. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I'd like to say about that? Yes. Mr King is one of the most truly inspiring and amazing teachers I've worked with in all the schools yeah. that I've worked with. That class that he was teaching, he had taught them for a number of years. Those children went on to get outstanding GCSE results. Russell puts his absolute heart and soul into that class. He is a lover of literature. He is a lover of English. And those kids think he's great and he thinks they're great. And at the end of that, as they leave, he says, clear off scumbags. They know that they are as far from scumbags absolutely, in his mind yes. as anybody could be. And if, if adults, ironic, ironic, absolutely. Absolutely. If adults don't get irony and 15 year olds do, I think that's a bit of a shame. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Drew, were you surprised by the success of the programme and the response that you've had? Um, well, Vic and I talked about it beforehand and one of the things we were very conscious of was we thought, you know, who will watch it? Our mums will watch it, our yeah. friends will watch it, the people I play rugby with will watch it and that will kind of be about it. And actually it came out and suddenly it was all over those newspapers and magazines in advance and then everyone's watching it. Um, I think everyone went to school most people have children who go to school or they know people who go to school so everyone connects with school so in a sense everyone gets it and everyone feels it's part of their life not everybody gets the maths here's a clip from mr <laughs> thomas's math lesson and carry and pie over circle is where did it come from <laughs> sir yeah. who made up pie i told you Last lesson, where it came from. I don't really pay attention to I will explain to, to you at break, don't worry. Oh! Yeah? Good. Right, you are going to do some practice questions on area of the sector. Fun, fun, Please fun. remember... I'll wait, Carrie, yeah? <laughs> it's not funny. Can you do some work? I am. It's taken you nearly five minutes to open a book, come on. <sighs> <laughs> You see, patience. Do you know what pi is? 22 over 7. Yeah. 3.141596. Well, do you know where you, you get, get it from? Where do you, do you know you get where it, it comes from? from? Where do you get it from? Where does the pi come where does from? Pie come from? It's the ratio sure. of circumference over diameter. It's Mass the ratio sure. of the circumference of any circle over the diameter of any circle. Right. And that's what it is. It but what a good question. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you've inspired people to become teachers? Because I've had 10,000 messages since the show started that I've replied to almost all of them. I've got 50 to go before I've replied to all of them. And I think probably 40% of those are people saying, I want to be a teacher. Yeah. Absolutely. So Do you if think I, they really mean it? I think they, probably, they may want to. It's a I hard mean, road. They've seen the edited highlights, Of course. They? And, they haven't seen the mundaneness of, of the paperwork and everything else yeah, you have yeah. to do. I, I hope if it inspires one teacher, it's a good job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's exceptional. Sending an email is quite easy, but at the same time, actually making the effort to send an email to somebody who's seen a TV programme, actually, you know, you've got to sit down and want to do it. Mm. And we've had emails from people saying, I want to be a teacher. Mm. I'm a teacher already. It's really inspired me. I've tried to use some of the things that you use. I've tried to do this. I've tried to do that. So actually, I think it's an extremely positive thing. And if we've been able to make the public generally realise how hard our colleagues up and down the country work in thousands of schools, then it's been worth everything that comes in. Teachers make such a difference. Absolutely. Thank you both. Brilliant Thank job. You, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Goddard. Last episode of Educating Essex is on Thursday, Channel 4, 9 o'clock. It will probably make, make you, you cry. Make you cry. <laughs> We've seen it already, haven't we? <laughs> the time is. <laughs> but you're almost welling up <laughs> now, aren't I've you? Quite, I've seen it five <laughs> times and I still cry. You're the head teacher, you can't blub. 20 minutes past seven, coming oh, up later on the programme. <laughs>